Need Bitcoin support? The pros at Coinbase Connect are here to help. Learn about self-custody, privacy, mining, lightning payments, and much more. Simply go to coinbeast.com backslash connect and schedule a one-on-one video call with a Bitcoin pro. Take your knowledge to the next level by connecting with a pro on coinbeast.com today. Please check out episode 41 with Adam O, aka Denver Bitcoin on Twitter, episode 46 with Hoddle Tarantula, or episode 49 with Adam Meister. All our pros you can connect with at coinbeast.com connect today. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the show. My name is Chris Alamo, and I am an amateur investor. This podcast is my open source journal of everything I learn about investing and wealth management. I'm here to explore the key concepts, market dynamics, and investing strategies that will assist you on the path towards financial independence and financial literacy. My mission is to build us from amateurs to experts. All suggestions are my own, and I recommend that you should do your own research before taking any investment advice. See you in this week's episode. I hope you enjoy Hey everyone, how's it going? This is episode 57 of the Amateur Investors coming at you now. Um, so this episode is going to be a little bit of a different episode. It's going to be a little bit shorter, but i um, really excited to talk to you guys today. So uh, my life's been pretty crazy the last two weeks. Um, I officially changed jobs and I'm now the Twitch project manager at Bitcoin Magazine. So um, yeah, it's partly thanks to this podcast, partly thanks to the listeners, partly thanks to you guys um, that I was able to get this job opportunity and uh, work for Bitcoin Magazine. Uh, I'm really excited for this new uh, role and new career path. I know many people are asking or a lot of my family and friends were saying, uh, it's interesting that I'm kind of changing from more of the engineering world to uh, the Bitcoin world or kind of giving up my traditional engineering background. But Really excited to announce that I've changed jobs and I've joined Bitcoin Magazine. I'm really looking forward to um, everything that has to offer, you know, with this job and this opportunity. I'm really excited for it. Um, Yeah, so like I said, it's going to be a much shorter episode tonight. Uh, I'd like as the episode is going to be titled Leaving the Fiat World and Joining the Bitcoin One. Um, Yeah, it was definitely uh, an awesome opportunity and really looking forward to doing more Bitcoin only content. Uh, you know, I'll be, I was helping with the Bitcoin magazine live streams, as well as expanding their Twitch platform use. So I'm the Twitch project manager there, uh, but really excited for it. So yeah, I guess we're going to talk all things Bitcoin on this one and uh, have more of a Bitcoin focus. Uh, my plan is to still keep doing the amateur investors podcast uh, going forward. Um, so even though I've changed jobs and changed careers and I'm working for Bitcoin magazine, uh, I don't plan on changing um, what I've been doing. And I still want to keep this podcast going. They were very receptive and welcoming to the idea of me doing the amateur investors podcast and continuing to do it. Um, but I'm going to be looking to work with it in conjunction of my day job and, and now doing this podcast on the side still. So, uh, episode 57, like I said, uh, it's amazing that I've done even just 52 episodes. My goal was always to do 52. Uh, now I want to get to hundred, you know, hopefully after that we'll get to 200 and we'll just keep it going. Uh, but really excited. Um, So yeah, I guess I'll talk about current events that happened in Bitcoin. So over the weekend, I think on Friday evening, uh, late Friday evening, early Saturday morning, I guess, uh, we watched as Bitcoin basically lost 200 billion in market cap. Uh, Yeah, 200 billion with a B. uh, So quite a lot of money was liquidated. Uh, It appears a lot of it was people with... um, uh, long, like, so, so they were going long on Bitcoin and ultimately, uh, Bitcoin went against them. And then once it started going down, there's a cascade of liquidating all the people that were margin, uh, were levered up, uh, to Bitcoin being long. So, uh, Bitcoin always does what causes the most amount of pain to the most amount of people. I think that's kind of the saying that people always keep uh, mentioning and bringing up. Um, and I think that's true. I, I think that's very true that, you know, if you think it, the market, whatever market, stock market, bond market, whatever you think is going to happen, um, the reverse happens or the way to cause the most amount of harm or the most amount of pain to people. Um, not on purpose. There's, that's, that's the way the markets work. They shake out bad leverage, whether it's leverage long or leverage short or whatever it may be. 
Uh, but yeah, we saw a huge uh, dip and went from around 56, 57 K dropped all the way down. I saw on some exchanges dropped to 42 K um, in the matter of, you know, a couple hours that this happened very quickly, especially the drop from 52 K at around uh, 1030. So, so the timing is a little bit different. I forget what BIPO is, is time-based. I think it's out in California or mountain time. So 11 PM, their time would be 1 AM or 2 AM East coast. I remember I was up at 1 AM watching this, uh, coming back from an out at a night of drinking and within the hour or within a half hour, uh, yeah, within the hour, it dropped from 52 K per Bitcoin down to it's showing 45 on bitbo.io. But uh, I know it was much lower than that. It was like 42K. I was trying to buy on the exchanges uh, and there was not an option to do so. I finally got my buy order in around 45K, somewhere in that range. Um, so yeah, there was kind of a crazy market sell off and shake off. With that being said, though, it dropped as low as 42K. We've now recovered and we're sitting, uh, recovered at least from the drop. We're sitting at 50K. Uh, I know people were saying on Twitter, don't anyone say it's not going to go below 50K again, because then you know that's guaranteeing that'll go below 50K again. Uh, personally, I'd love to see it go below 50K again. I have another opportunity to buy cheap Bitcoin. Um, I know there's been a lot of people talking about the cycle, uh, you know, the cycles that go on. So the having cycles and the correlation of the four year cycles, basically, uh, we're still in a bull market, in my belief. And a lot of people thought December was going to be up December, like in previous cycles. Um, and then we were going to just keep on going and keep on going until we basically uh, we bust at the top. So a lot of people were calling 200K, 250K, 280K. Uh, I know the stock to flow model has been broken and a lot of predictions talking about that with plan B's model. Uh, but at the end of the day, there's a great quote that I learned in engineer school. All models are wrong. Some models are useful and most models are dangerous. Basically, that goes to show that models are exactly that. They're only models, but that does not mean that they're always right or correct 100% of the time. Um, and, you know, it, it just goes to show uh, people can't predict. If everyone was able to predict where the stock market, where the bond market, where the world was going to go, uh, there'd be many, many rich people in the world, or I guess in theory, there'd be no rich people in the world because everyone would know when to sell, when to buy, when to trade, when to do whatever. Um, so, you know, no one can predict anything and anyone that tells you otherwise, uh, they, you might as well run for the hills. I believe in Bitcoin in the long term, uh, but at the same rate, um, that doesn't mean that it's going to work. I mean, there could be something unforeseen. The code can get hacked. Um, for some reason, uh, there could be an error and all the wallets, the internet crashes, you know, an EMP goes off. There's endless possibilities. I mean, most people weren't calling the COVID pandemic in March of 2020, or uh, they, they weren't expecting that to happen and had the whole world and the world economy basically shut down for many, many months. So uh, you never know. And um, yeah, so it's pretty crazy on that end. I know we are now approaching the all-time hash rate as well. Uh, I know price, hash rate, and um, price, hash rate, and then what was the last thing? Uh, oh, the, the wallets or the wallet adoption are normally pretty closely related, meaning that as more users are coming on to Bitcoin and creating more Bitcoin wallets or their hot wallets or cold wallets or whatever. Um, also, while well, the hash rate's going up and the price, they're all in correlation with one another. Uh, so as we're reaching all time highs in hash rate, that's very good. Price will follow eventually. And, you know, uh, as my good friend Adam Meister always says, uh, Bitcoin will always return to its all time high uh, in any time during its history. At whatever price you bought in at, guaranteed four years later, at least in the history, that, so this model or this, this thing can change, but always in its four-year history, it's, it appears that it returns past its all-time high. So within that four-year period, it's higher. If you take any point in time in Bitcoin's history, it will be higher in the, the subsequent four years that follow. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty excited for it. I know 20K seemed like a, a hurdle that we were never going to break again. Uh, and now we spent the majority of 2021 uh, above 20k i think i don't want to say all of it but uh, pretty much all of the the majority of it so let's see december yeah i think we've spent all of it above yeah we spent all of it above 20k so the old time the old high back from uh 2017's bull market was around the 19 or 20k mark and we've spent all of 2021 above that range. So like I said, that follows that four-year rule once again. Um, very exciting times for Bitcoin. I think we're still early. 
Um, I love to see you guys all at the conference. I will be there. I know I was not able to be there last year. I had prior commitments to other friends. But if you'd love to go to the Bitcoin conference, I know, like I said, I'm working with the YouTube live streams. So if you want to go to, uh, let me pull it up real quick. If you want to go to b.tc backslash conference, uh, you can go in there and register today. If you want to use uh, code YT Mag, so YouTube Magazine or YT Mag as the code to get 21% off uh, Bitcoin conference tickets. I'd love to see you guys wherever you're listening in from. Uh, I know I've had uh, international listeners. And I know with COVID things are crazy, but I know prices are going up tomorrow. So that by the time this airs, prices will have gone up, but the code will still work for 21% off your tickets. I'd love to see you there. Uh, it's actually cheaper if you use Bitcoin. Like I said, I don't recommend selling your Bitcoin, but maybe buying the equivalent of Bitcoin going to purchase. So buy and replace basically as in buying, you know, if it's whatever the ticket price is, buying the specified amount of Bitcoin, sending it to us uh, or buying the tickets to go to the conference. And then, you know, you didn't spend any, you spent fiat to buy Bitcoin to immediately buy your tickets. Uh, but yeah, I'd love to see you there. We've got a great list of speakers. I know Jack Mallers will be there. Michael Saylor, uh, Bukele, the president of El Salvador, Saifedina Moose and many others are getting added by the day. Uh, it's a great, great group of people and I'd love to meet you there. Like I said, it's um, pretty exciting times. Like I said, a much shorter episode today. Uh, it was a pleasure talking to everyone. I know I've got a guest lineup uh, for December or for the rest of December. I got a really exciting guest on for next week for episode 58. Um, I'm looking to get a few more people on. I know Things are crazy around right around the holidays, but I'm really looking forward to the guests that I have coming uh, up onto the podcast and love to keep, you know, doing this podcast and talking with this community. So thank you so much. It's really, truly, I have to thank you guys and everyone who's listened for getting me this far. And, you know, I'm really excited for the future. You guys helped me get this new job at Bitcoin Magazine, and I'm looking to bring to you great content talking about Bitcoin and looking to bring on more and more guests. And hopefully I'll see you guys, everyone at the conference. So it's a pleasure talking to you guys. Have a good one. And I'll see you next week.